Hey, welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan. And I'm John. And the film we're reviewing tonight is called In Time. It stars Justin Timberlake and Amanda Siegfried. And I have to say, I have never been as annoyed by a film. Well, I have. But in a really long time. This film so annoyed me from the moment it began. Yeah, it was, it was straight annoying. Straight through. It was so <clears throat> annoying. You know, one of the things that, that you have to do is when a writer creates a, a, a It's new a sci-fi film. He has to write the laws of the universe. And he has to explain how the universe got like that. That's right. And none of those are ever answered. And then you're watching these actors go through their moves. Ugh. I'll give you an example of a scene, okay? Yeah. First of all, people at the age of 25 stop aging. Right. And they get one year free, and then they have to earn time. And, and if you think that's confusing... Wait, 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 and they have these barcodes on their arms, mm, and they, right they, they're green, and they glow. So let's say I want to give John an hour of life because, oh, I don't know, because he gave me a neck massage. I take my arm, and I put it right on top of his barcode, and then you hear this noise going... Blah, 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 all, that's blah, missing, blah. all that's missing is groceries, <laughs> you know? I have to say, so therefore, you, if you go to work, you know, you get X amount of of time, but then you have to buy groceries and you have to spend X amount of time. So the, the film has basically the haves and the <laughs> haves nots. The rich people live in New Greenwich and they have all the time in the world. They walk slowly. Time, well, time is on their side. Time is on their but side. For, for the, the, the ordinary schmoes, yeah, it's like forget, forget it. That. And plus you could see because in, in poor land, you know, where all the poor people live, they run. Everybody runs because, you know, they it, got it. They against the clock. Against the clock. Whereas in rich land, everybody strolls. I would call this movie Race Against Time. <laughs> there was a movie called that, I know, I but I called this the, movie... You know, I wouldn't even call this movie a movie. I, I really didn't like the it. The guy movie. that wrote it, Andrew Nichol, also directed it. And, you know, maybe that's the problem because, you know, this guy, who is he? I, he did this film called Gattaca. And if I saw him here, I, I'd actually yell at him because he wrote a really stupid, annoying film. And I wasted my time seeing it. That's how emotional I, I felt well, about I it. it's time for the But wait a minute, let me ask you something. Let's say we lived in this universe... And I was, my time was running out, so would you give me a year of your time if you only had a year and two months left? I'd give you two months. <laughs> you give me two months? I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I, okay. You know, my time is your time. <laughs> That's very good. And you know what they say, time has come today. Time has come kind today. To, okay. By the way, do you know what time it is? Uh, isn't that a song? It's bagel uh, time. It's bagel time, okay. Oh my, we could go on and on and on. I'm giving, out of five bagels, um, in time, I am giving it two dry bagels. Nothing on it. One bagel, dry. Yeah, because it, I'm pissed off because it took up so much of my time. It opens in theaters this Friday, October 28th, folks. This stay away. This will never become a timeless treasure. <laughs> That's for sure.